love that is around us is unreal. God has truly blessed us all. When Caitlin was born, I knew then God gave me the world's best playmate. Since then, I have grown to realize He gave me her for so much more. Eck has a way of opening your heart and mind beyond places you never realized it could go. There's no denying you have the biggest place in my heart. You inspire me, you motivate me, and I am so very proud of who you are. Caitlin, I am so very proud of the incredible woman that you have become. You care so deeply for your friends and family. You have always fought so fiercely for what you believe in, and it has led you to such a great place and a wonderful man that loves you in the way you deserve to be loved. And Michael, although I have so many wonderful memories of spending time with you, I can't actually figure out which one that came first. The reason is, I feel you fit so seamlessly into our family from the very beginning. Your smile is infectious, and you make everyone feel like family with your hugs. No matter what, remember that I am your big sister, and I am always here for you. And that goes for both of you. Now, Michael, Caitlin is uh, exceedingly loving and loyal. She's kind, thoughtful, and compassionate. She's the one who's she is the one who's going to always want to be with you on special for special events, and she can't. She'll grieve. She's the one who's going to call you one minute after 12 o'clock on your birthday to wish you a happy birthday, just so she can be the first one to wish you a happy birthday. She's the one who's going to make, you, make cards for you for special occasions, including the message inside in this card will be far better than anything you could buy at the store. Caitlin, you're beautiful. My baby. I've been chasing you ever since college, and I'm so glad. Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> because life is truly an adventure with you, as no day is ever the same. When I sit back and reflect on it, I truly do love it. I think you're such a special soul that everyone can learn from. If everyone had a little bit of heck in them, the world would be a better place. Who got lipstick on and after? Oh, mommy. <laughs> Michael. There are not enough words to be able to describe how much I love you. I'm so grateful every single day that you're in my life. I love you. Like any sister that has a great relationship with their brother, all you wish for them is to find someone that would make them truly happy in life. You pray they're compassionate, loving, selfless, and of course has to have a great sense of humor. <laughs> Caitlin has all these attributes and more. So, if Caitlin's not Michael's soulmate, I know for a fact she's mine. <laughs> Caitlin, you already know how much you mean to me. You're the sister I've never had. But even more than that, you're an amazing partner to my brother. And I couldn't be happier that this day has finally come. Caitlin. I pray that you surround yourself with people that remind you that Michael is a great guy. He's a man of honor, a man of God, and that you'll love him even if you're mad or frustrated at him. Michael, I challenge you to surround yourself with people who will remind you that you married up. <laughs> Have I told you lately that I love you? I told you there's no one else above you. You fill my life with gladness and take away all my sadness. Ease my trouble, that's what you do. Michael, in true Parton tradition, took one of Mr. Parton's socks, 
put a ring in it on a cold night next year, Rocco Husky, and asked you to marry him. There will never be another person in your life that you are going to love more than the man you're looking at right now. And the woman you're looking at, Michael. Ease my troubles, that's what you do. There's a love that's divine, and it's yours and it's mine, like the sun. And at the end of the day, we should give thanks and pray to the one, oh, to the one. Today, the two become one. The decisions you make affect the other more so now. So I challenge you, choose life together. Michael, I vow to keep your heart safe and never take for granted the love that we share. Caitlin, I vow to consider you in all that I do and choose you in our marriage every single day. I vow to fill your life with laughter and hugs and to show you my devotion with actions and not just words. I vow to be your partner in crime, your biggest fan, and your best friend. I vow to be your partner and faithful wife and give you my life and my love forever. I vow to be your partner and faithful husband and to give you my life and my love forever. Caitlin, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. Caitlin, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have. With all that I am and all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today you shared words of commitment, made solemn vows in front of God, family, and friends. And so, by the authority given to me, with much joy in my heart, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. getting to know Michael. He is remarkable in every regard. He is bright and capable. He's um, methodical and logical. He has the ability to um, be the, the reasonable one if necessary. He, he had, yeah, yeah, he had, he had, absolutely, if necessary. He's kind, thoughtful, and compassionate. He would give you the shirt off his back. And listen, if you ever do something nice for him, Michael's going to thank you once. And he's going to circle back around just to make certain he'll thank you again. Now, Caitlin, uh, my, you and Michael have many similar qualities, but you also have many different qualities. And it's a combination of those similar and different gifts and graces that will enable you to endure difficulties and overcome obstacles throughout life. You are stronger as a couple and a family than you are as one. Everybody deserves to have somebody who will love them unconditionally and always be there for them.